Driving right now over on I-20 in Tarrant County is one of these rough spots that we've been talking about for a long period of time moving over toward Chapel Creek. And when I go to the camera in this area, we'll be actually looking from a long distance around the I-20, I-30 split to the actual crash site. And that's why I've circled it just so you can see the flashing lights. The one positive thing here is this incident initially involving four tractor trailers. Uh, at least is in a position now to where they can allow one lane of traffic to consistently move through, but we're still talking about a good 25 minute delay moving over from the Alito area and Weatherford over past that point. Driving over in Denton County, again, a small problem north on I-35E at Corinth Parkway on the right side of the roadway. Cleanup continues on Highway 380 just to the west of 377 because of an early morning mishap. 75 Central has been a nightmare moving out of McKinney and through Allen past the Fairview Town Center. And unfortunately, all lanes are still blocked here as the complex cleanup continues to get that big rig out of here. And then on the northbound side of 75 in and amongst the stop and go traffic coming out of Plano, there's still a crash at Spring Creek Parkway. Yes, there's still a wreck eastbound LBJ around Garland Road, limited access through that area. I-30 going across the Lake Ray Hubbard Bridge in the eastbound direction. No fun because of a crash in the two left lanes. And then over on I-20 moving from Kaufman into Dallas County. Still have this wreck with a vehicle facing the wrong direction and the backups over three quarters of a mile in that location. Lauren, Tim, back to you. All right, thank you. Well, road crews are dealing with a lot of icy spots as you heard from Chip this morning, and we've seen a lot of crashes. Yes, we have, and Hannah is live at uh, one of the usual trouble spots, the High Five Interchange in North Dallas. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Tim and Lauren. Yeah, of course, these overpasses and bridges are the typical trouble spots that we see on icy mornings like we've had today. Right now, it's just really windy, cold, and we have seen a bit of drizzle, but not too much accumulation, at least in this area. However, we have seen several slowdowns, and like you mentioned, several reported crashes already throughout the morning. Let's go to one of the major ones. This was just from a few hours ago. Video from Tech Cameras captured a crash that happened just before dawn in Fort Worth. You can see a box truck start to spin out of control along 820 near that Mark 4 Parkway. It hit a vehicle that had already crashed and pulled over to the side of the road around 5 this morning. As you can see, someone there holding a flashlight running to get away from the wrecking truck. Thankfully, they were not hit. Now let's go to this next picture. South Lake DPS says Highway 114 is backing up. At last check, it said 114 eastbound was backed up through Roanoke. It shared these photos saying the city is sanding the highway at the White Chapel Bridge and caution people against speeding. Grapevine police says the main roads and side streets are drivable in that area, but they've had to respond to several accidents along highways and bridges and in uh, including that one you're looking at. That's off of Main Street. Police are reminding everyone to use caution if they have to head out on the roadways this morning and make sure to take it slow. And, and like you heard in that text, uh, the MedStar interview not too long ago, this is not the end of it. Tomorrow the roads are expected to be an issue as well. So again, if you do need to head out, give yourself ample time to get where you need to go and try to avoid these trouble spots like overpasses and bridges or any roadway that might get icy. Reporting live in Dallas, I'm Hannah of a tough for good day.